welcome back to my channel. This video tutorial is about <laughs> layers and mixed media in Photoshop. So I'm going to teach a little bit how to use the layers with different draws by hand or and sketches, renders. So the first thing you need to do is organize your files. I already organized my files here, so I'm going to use as a base a 3D model. I already teach how to do and export the images from SketchUps, but you can use any 3D model and export to use as a base. After that, I printed with a little bit of opacity the 3D and I draw by hand to use my personal sketch design in this draw and I, and I scan to, f to create this file just with the lines and the painting by hand. So I use this draw, I scan and I draw and I scan again. And after that, I organize a background with the sky because I didn't like my sky by hand. So I'm going to change and mix the both. I'm going to use a water, water texture and a wood texture in the draw. So the first thing you need to open the Photoshop. I'm using the CS6, but you can use the CS4, CS5, whatever. So the first thing you're going to load the files. Because you're going to use three files with the same perspective and the same position, you can go in file scripts and load files into stack. And you're going to browse your files, those three, you're going to select OK. It's going to show here and they're going to... I'm going to select this attempt to automatically align source images because it's going to try to align all drawings. So I'm going to select OK. And going to load all the drawings. So the first thing you need to realize your layer box is down here and you already have your three layers here the lines painted by hand and 3d model the first thing you need to switch to multiply your draw by hand the file lines here because it's going to delete so it's going to multiply the white color in the draw and you need to do this with this another layer here you're going to multiply so in the background it's going to appear the 3d model and you need to fit how you're going to fit by you're going to scale until fit the here in the draw you can transform the the 3D model perspective, you can go in Edit, Transform, Scale, Rotate, Perspective. I'm going to do by hand because I want to affect a, a very artistic effect. So I'm going to warp and uh, I'm going to fit by myself here. So it's just fit is like you're touching a paper and fitting by yourself. So just go a little bit with the zoom to fit some lines here. And it's almost like a game. Like this. This part right here. Despite this part here. Perfect. Okay, I want to create a frame, so that I'm going to click here in new layer and going to select. I'm going to put here in the top, and I'm going to type frame. And I'm going to use a brush. Uh, I want to use a, a regular brush, just with the color white. Just to create effect 
in the 3D model, I can arrange here the lines. And also I want to uh, let a little bit clear the 3D model because I don't want uh, so strong colors in my draw. But I want to a little bit more drama, drama in the draw. So I'm going to go up with my levels here. I'm going to switch OK. I'm going to take off a little bit of the saturation here. And I want to delete some parts, so I'm going to use the this tool here. If you press the tab, I want a bigger brush like this. I want to delete these parts here, but I want a smooth, little bigger. This. Just to create effect. I don't want this line here. I don't want to show the. I don't want to show the person here. And also here, I don't want to show this. Okay. I already have my file set. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit more. My painting by hand. Now I'm going to create a group here the first, and I'm going to select all these layers here in the group and I'm going to use as base. Okay. Now I'm going to place the background almost fit. I'm going to go down with this draw with this image, I'm going to switch the axis, the, the axis here. I'm going to put minus because I want the sun on the other side here. Uh, how I'm going to select this to not be like drawing again? I'm going to open here the group. I'm going to in this tool and select here. So very quickly, you can create the mask like this, and you can uh, have the image like this. So I'm going to take off my my plow here because I didn't like it at all. <laughs> and this draw is so old, like five years ago. I'm going to remove. Take care with the another elements. And I'm going to delete here from the 3D model this strong lines here and now I'm going to place a texture the wood texture I'm going to use in my floor I'm going to place like this and I'm going to I'm going to place here and I'm going to transform the perspective and it's very easy to use this tool you just need to have a little bit of notion what is the perspective i'm going to follow my line my line is my draw by hand here it's almost like like this perfect i'm going to place here and then i'm going to delete all the areas are not the floor. You can use this tool, it's easier. You need to rasterize the layer first. 
and you going to delete all the parts you are not using okay but I want um, I effect more clear so I'm going to take a little bit like this and I'm going to use multiply to multiply with my draw so I'm going to create effect multiplying with all layers and I'm going to delete the objects like tree they're going to do this by my hand like this. and it's going to bring the draw to the front again and you need to load now the water texture you are going to place here place and ok and take out from the base and I'm going to select I'm going to select here the water here in my draw by hand I'm going to turn off the layer now to be more easier to select here I'm going to go in similar when you do a draw with the sky normally normally it's going to select another thing but you can use the out to remove the selection and the watch out the the pants of the person normally I pen with the blue so you need to remove two so you already have selected the water and now you just need to create a mask like this so you can see the difference like this I'm going to place and again the image of the water and I'm going to change the change the scale just to play a little bit I'm going to use again the perspective I already placed now I'm going to change the perspective I'm going to fit with my draw here mm. just to be a little bit going to delete a little bit to so don't be so strong I'm going to put a little bit of effect here and reduce the opacity I'm going to cut a little bit here this tool and I'm going to add a new layer in the top of everything is the sunlight I'm going to draw this sun rays here. I'm going to paint with the white color. I'm going to add a little bit more. And now I'm going to use a filter of blur with motion blur and as you can see here, I'm going to up to like 30, 20 pixels. I'm going to place OK and I'm going to use the effect overlay. Now it's almost like burn the draw. And then I'm going to press Ctrl T to use the some lights effects here. I'm going to switch a little bit. Because I don't think it fits so so 
need to press OK. And let a little bit clear. Also, you need to export your file. You can save as your file in JPG or PNG. And I'm going to save here on the desktop. Trial mix it. I'm going to save my desktop here. Press OK. Now the draw is here. So thanks to watch this video. And uh, I hope you check the playlist about Photoshop and then other softwares about uh, of Adobe. And thank you to watch this video and follow the channel please. And bye bye.